I remember a few years ago, I was in Australia and spoke at an event with some very, very successful entrepreneurs and they took me out to dinner afterwards and there was four guys and two ladies and two wives. And I asked them, I think it was like 12.30 in the morning, I asked just everyone at the table, what's your purpose in life? Nobody could answer. Two people said, I don't know. Two guys rambled on for five minutes, which meant they had no idea. One lady had no <clears throat> One of the wives said, I don't know. The other wife started talking and then she broke down and attacked her husband. Simple question, what's wow. your purpose in life? No idea. What color is your tie, Brian? I think it's red. It's red, right? I mean, not very difficult to answer. But people don't know because they never spend any time with themselves. I always say people make time for everything and everyone else in their life, but they never make time for themselves. If you go up to someone who you know and say, like, would you like to catch up for coffee? Let's, let's do coffee. They're like, oh, I can't this week, but I can next week. How about Thursday, 7 p.m.? Perfect. I'll see you at this place. When was the last time someone is willing to take time out of their life to spend time with themselves? So if I wanted to get to know you, and we've had one dinner and we had a great conversation, we're spending time here. If I wanted to get to know you, I would have to spend time with you. We'd have to meet up for coffee, a glass of wine. If I really want to get to know you, maybe we meet up once a week. Every Friday night, we go out for a glass of wine, we chat for a couple of hours. After a year, I'd get to know you really well, you'd get to know me really well. But it requires me spending time with you. So if you want to get to know yourself, you need to spend time with yourself. But in a, in a way that you can inquire, right? So people say to me things like, oh, I walk my dog in the park, that's my time with myself. And they're like, no, it's not. That's you walking the dog. People go like, oh, I, you know, I go for a jog, that's my alone time. No, that's you jogging, avoiding traffic, watching where you're stepping so you don't trip and fall over. Spending time with yourself is sitting down, closing your eyes, not interacting with the outside world and actually going inside and having that conversation, the same conversation I would have with you and say like, hey Brian, so where, where did you grow up? You know, you said California, do you like to surf? No, hate the water, love the water. Tell me, right? Mm. And people don't have that conversation and because they don't have that conversation with themselves, they don't end up knowing what they want in life because they don't know what they want in life, they can't focus that finite amount of energy and then they don't live a lifestyle that brings them happiness and most people end up being ha unhappy as okay. a byproduct. So what is the tool that you suggest people use to start? Is it that focused meditation? Is it just being with themselves alone, asking questions? Yeah, I would say just, you know, take five minutes out of the day every morning and maybe even just do it Monday to Friday and take the weekends off, you know, wake up in the morning, shower, go to a quiet place in your home or apartment, sit down for five minutes, close your eyes, you could do a couple of breathing exercises and maybe just take a few deep breaths to relax yourself and then start having that conversation with yourself. Same conversation and then people, the next natural question is what do I talk about, right? Well, what would you talk about if you met a stranger at a bar? Would you just sit there and stare at them? Would you ask questions? What's your name? How are you feeling? What do you think about the election in America? Ask yourself these questions. Have a conversation the same way you would have with a stranger with yourself. And when you have that conversation every day, the initial conversations would be very superficial of how I'm feeling today, I'm hungry, didn't like the show we watched last night. And then after a week, we're not going to be talking about that. If we met every once a week for six months, by month three or month four, our conversations would be so much deeper, right? We'd be talking about much more personal stuff. And then you'd really get to know yourself. Right, and you're diving deep and just trying to find out what you really want, what motivates you, right? who you are, how you're treating the people you love. Exactly. How you're treating yourself. Right. right. And that conversation doesn't happen on day one. Sometimes it does, but most of the time it doesn't. It comes after the fifth or sixth or seventh conversation when you feel comfortable, when you can trust the other person with more deeper personal stuff. In the same way, you have to trust yourself too. Yet once you close your eyes and go inside of you, you realize that you're gonna see things that you love and things that you don't love. And you have to be prepared for that. And most people can't handle that. They can close their eyes and go in and see all the things they love about themselves, but the things that are unpleasant makes them open their eyes and go, this is absolutely useless. I could definitely use my time in much more productive ways. <laughs> and then they get up and they leave. That's the reaction when they kind of see something they don't want to engage with. Of course. With. Okay. Why, why am I sitting here? It's an absolute waste of time. I got a to-do list, I can go get things done. 
This is just a waste of time. And temporary, temporarily feel better or feel like you accomplished a goal or something when in fact you still don't know why you're here, what your purpose is, etc. Exactly. So in the same way like you get to know someone you love, right? You see all the good things about them and all the not so good things. This is part of the package, right? But you love and accept them because you love that person in the same way you need to take that approach with yourself. But you can't know what you want until you spend time with yourself.